it's me and today we're checking out some cool things that I learned on TikTok. On the playground you have this spiral spaghetti looking thing, the rotini of the playground. I thought you were supposed to climb up them, but we got her sliding down it. My entire childhood we've been doing this wrong. I would climb it like an awkward ladder. How did she figure this out? Who told her? These new kids are smarter than we thought. She's just sliding down. How does she know this? This looks a lot more fun now that I know that I've missed out on it my entire childhood. And I will never be small enough to slide through the spirals. Another loofah is ready to harvest. Did he say loofah? Like the thing you wash yourself with? You grow them on a tree? Until it's like ready a because cocoa it's bean? a little bit squishy, a little bit airy, and it kind of looks he like a He gotta be trolling. Ha! The top already that was came aggressive. Off, so take a look. Okay, here we go with the perfect peel. Let's see if we can get it. Oh yeah. Every it looks like a dried up fat banana. No curve. Slides right out. What kind of vegetable is this? I can let this dry a little bit. There's some seeds in there that I want to take out, but I just grew myself another bath sponge. Oh, I've seen those. You know when you go to like the Whole Foods or something and they got those all natural sponges? I never thought about where they came from, but this dude grew himself a bath sponge you know, on my loofah tree. I mean, if you asked me, I would have thought they came from the ocean or something. Well, I guess we know where loofahs come from now. Did you know that you could stop a domino wall from falling? No way. How? With the force? Are you a Jedi? He actually stopped it by just holding a piece in place? He's gotta have the power of the force. What about all the other pieces? They just stopped right in their tracks. He really said, domino, stop. And it worked. You are packing your luggage wrong. Instead of laying your luggage down and shoving everything in your bag, you're supposed to fold everything and put them in vertically. Look how much more clothes you can fit. That is a lot of clothes. I didn't think that many clothes could fit in a small luggage and you got even more space. They could fit so many things in there. I'm gonna try this next time I travel. I just found a blue stop sign. I feel so much more polite than the red ones. I feel like a red one's like, stop. But a blue one's like, stop. It's so chill. Like red? No, stop. You violated the law. The blue? Yeah, you can stop. It's okay. So on private properties, they have blue stop signs, but in public places, they have red ones. So you can choose your level of stop aggression. This is what you're really ordering at McDonald's. Yes, it is a frozen patty. It's still a burger, still meat, and looks like meat when you cook it. Frozen meat kind of does look like a hockey puck, but when you cook it, it is meat. You're telling me you throw frozen burgers on the grill? I mean, I'm no boyga expert, but don't you have to wait for it to defrost? I refuse to believe this is how a sea cucumber eats. Oh, is that a sea cucumber? No way. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have so much in common with a sea cucumber. It's just grabbing things and just shoving it down its hole. Dang, little lady, you sure can't put it away. It's like having several hands and just... <laughs> Careful you don't eat your little sea hand too. That's actually pretty cool. Let's see what we can grab from the garden to make dinner. Grabbing some asparagus. Hold up, were any of you aware that asparagus grows like this? Like in a single stalk. Really? They just come out of the ground like that. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought they would at least like grow in a bunch, but just like random sticks of asparagus. Oh, it's ready. Snip. That doesn't seem very practical. <laughs> See this little slit? Don't open your popcorn yet. Oh, the why have I never thought of this? So before you even open the bag, you shake out the kernels. All these years, I've just been avoiding them like they little landmines. But you can get them out before you even open the bag. You know, I actually learned so many things from TikTok. It's crazy. Do short people know that your seatbelt is not supposed to strangle you? Look over your left shoulder. Lots of cars have a handy seatbelt lowerer. You're gonna adjust your seatbelt height on the side? I just thought cars had a thing against short people. You sit in baby seat or you get strangled. You sit in baby seat or you get strangled by seatbelt. Choose one. We have quite an abundant orange tree. Look at all that fruit. Hey, what'd you do? Just make a basket under it? How are you gonna get the oranges down? Just wait for them to fall? Oh, <gasps> they didn't wait. They waited three seconds. They shook that tree dry. <laughs> Dropping oranges from all the trauma. Is that really how they do? I thought somebody like climbs up there and hand picks them and puts them in a basket. No, they have a professional tree shaker device. Time to de-orange the tree. Okay, so these things are right here, but for whatever reason, when you talk, and she just yelled at the caterpillars. And they literally shook. <laughs> I never thought I'd feel bad for a caterpillar. 
<laughs> Maybe they think it's music and they do on a little jig. Life hacks you'll thank me for part 11. Did you know that the lines on a solo cup can actually act as measurement marks for alcohol measurements? This line right here is equivalent to a pint of beer. The next line down is 12 ounces, which is a standard beer bottle size. This line is five ounces, which is approximately one serving of wine. And this one is one fluid ounce, which equals a shot. Hey, that's pretty good. It's got like built-in measurements. It's like a Starbucks cup. And next time I want to measure a serving size of orange juice. Okay, but what's a mega pint? Is a solo cup equipped to measure that? If you need to freeze ice cubes in a pinch, use hot water instead of cold water. It actually freezes faster. This is actually called the Mpemba effect. Hot water freezes faster? I'm gonna have to test this one out because I don't believe it for a second. You told me I put hot water in my freezer and it's gonna freeze faster? Also, this is triggering me how you are filling up the ice cubes. To fill these up faster, you're supposed to make the water hit the little square sections and it'll make the entire ice cube tray fill up faster and evenly. You ever wondered how your ice maker makes ice cubes? You don't just put it in a tray, let it freeze, and then just like let it rip. Well, somebody stuck a camera inside their ice maker. Forbidden footage, I feel like I'm not allowed to be watching this. Where's the ice? Oh, there it is, it's coming out the back. Here they come. Six whole ice cubes, just like launched right there. They were on those spikes. You just like, you know, you can let them down a little gently next time. And nothing like being home alone and you hear the ice maker just it was the ice maker, right? Cool thing you didn't know about Target. Let's go. Oh. You know, instead of reaching your hand inside the fridge, you can pull this little tab. Not to you, go to yogurt. Yogurt, come to you. Like you are some sort of divine being. She was today years old when she found out what the tip of the peeler was for. There is a use for the tip of the peeler? What do you do with it? Oh, it's like a little scooper for the blemishes on your potato. Yeah, I think it's easier to just peel over them a few times. Like it's an actual extraction tool. I didn't even know there was a use for it. You know, imagine inventing all these cool products with all these extra uses and then nobody knows how to use them. Nobody's known for years. Only a select few have known for years until TikTok. Why are eggplants called eggplants? Because when they're growing, they look like little eggs. Oh, would you look at that? That sure does look like an eggplant to me. They start out as like white egg-shaped plants and then become massive and purple. They're also called aubergine. You know these lawn chairs? It actually has a secret hole for an umbrella. And you can just like pop the umbrella right in there and it fits? It's like a one size umbrella type of deal. And you've got the whole setup, the cup holder, umbrella, chair, all in one for the comfiest of Americans. You ever wonder why these crackers have these ridges on them? They are to cut your cheese. Uh, look at no that. No way. Perfect size and everything. That's gotta be cap. No way. Is that what it's actually for? Were cracker makers really that smart? Not only is it a cracker, but it is also a knife to cut your cheese. No way, that's gotta be cap. No, I cut my cheese thick. You working with a pathetic slice of cheese. It was no match for the ridges on the cracker. I gotta try this out. Who closes the door after the bus driver leaves the bus? The bus driver closes the door, right? But how? He didn't make it off this time. Gotta try again. Oh no. Oh, almost got his foot out. Oh, it's stuck. Will the bus driver ever make it off the bus? Oh, there we go. Third time's a charm. There's actually a little button you can press to open and close the door from the outside. I know, crazy. Those Glad air fresheners, you've been doing it wrong. Wait, so you're not supposed to like unscrew the bottom and leave it like that? Let the fragrance flow throughout the air? Then why does it open? You open the top of it. Oh, I didn't even know the top part could open. Seems like you like did it by force. But that looks like it makes more sense. Like it unscrews open, you pull it open, and wham bam, your bathroom doesn't smell like doo-doo anymore, ma'am. Smells like lavender doo-doo. So you know when you get a six pack of soda and you have to like peel the pesky plastic off? Well, you don't have to anymore. Unfold them, put them in straight. Okay, but the plastic is still ugly. And also you still have to pull it off if you want one. This bugs me. Airplane hack. If you're sitting in the aisle and cannot put your armrest up, there is a hidden button under the armrest. Oh, 
whoa. And you could just put it up? Why are they hiding this from the public? I guess if the first button doesn't work, you have a backup button that will lift your armrest, okay? Why is this such a secret? Why do I feel like this should have a function? I spent 30 minutes, why is this here? It's a paper clip for your towel, clearly. Oh, we're gonna make it have a function. Oh, okay. You know, I'm not sure if it was supposed to have a function or that's just the design, but sometimes the design can have a function and if it's gonna help you rip one slice at a time, then that is good enough for me. Today, I scrubbed down here and, and like, that's a button, right? So There's a I button was on your toilet? Years old when I found out that we just... Oh. Excuse me while I go disconnect my toilet. You mean there's buttons? You could just like pop it apart and then clean under it? If you've ever cleaned a toilet, there's like a forbidden zone where the seat and bowl connect. That's usually disgusting and filled with piss particles. And if you just disconnect it, it's like so much easier to clean. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and comment below, what did you learn today? And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And make sure you subscribe to join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.